Good afternoon and welcome to our 2024 NDSU Agricultural Faculty and Staff Awards Program. My name is Greg Lardy and I have the privilege of serving as the Joe and Norma Peltier Endowed Vice President for Agriculture. I'm pleased to welcome everyone here in person and our guests that are joining us online this afternoon. This annual event celebrates a strong tradition of recognizing accomplishments of our faculty and staff. This year we have 54 nominees, each of whom will receive a $50 gift card to the NDSU Bookstore. 10 award recipients will each receive a $1,000 honorarium, and the individual receiving the Celebrate, Integrate, and Embrace the Power of Diversity Award will receive $2,000 in operating funds to support continued innovations in diversity, equity, and inclusion programming. I want to extend a special thank you to everyone who submitted nominations. We understand this effort takes time, and your contributions are greatly appreciated. I also want to thank those who are serving on selection committees. Year after year, we hear how difficult and challenging it is to recommend just one individual per award, which speaks to the outstanding nominations that we receive from our faculty and staff. I'd also like to update you on the success of the Core Value Awards, inspired by the Strategic Planning Committee's work. These 11 traveling awards have been shared throughout NDSU Agriculture and across the Research Extension Centers, with numerous individuals being recognized. Thanks to all of you for being here to celebrate these remarkable achievements. At this time, I want to recognize some of the special guests that we have in the audience. We have several award donors and award sponsors with us. So joining us today are Howard Dahl, Ryan and Terry Dahl, H. Roll Lund, and Janet Lund. We'll see the red right here. Let's give them a round of applause. Special NDSU guests that are with us this afternoon include Laura oster Allen, Vice Provost for Student Affairs and Institutional Equity, Mark Genkinger, Director of Human Resources, Joel Hansen, Lead Academic Advisor with the Academic Advising Center, and Cody England, who is our Academic Advisor in Kafsner. Would the, those individuals please rise and be recognized? Now I'd like to share some comments from Carl Larson, who has recorded a special message on behalf of our donors and award sponsors. I'm here with Carl Larson. Carl is one of the sponsors of the Larson Yagi Early Career Award. So Carl, tell us a little bit about your association and background with NDSU. Well, Greg, uh, started out uh, when I graduated from high school, I wasn't sure. So I went to NDSU for a year, and during that freshman year, my father passed away. I was 18 years old, and uh, my path was uh, pretty well uh, directed back to the farm. I had three younger siblings, and uh, I felt an obligation as uh, the oldest boy in a family of nine. And I had one brother, and uh, NDSU was directly at directly responsible for me ending up back on the farm. And one thing I've always felt, I never acknowledge how much the professors uh, were able to help me out, especially in the Ag Econ department, uh, let me skip a class or a test and make it up, because my uh, spring and falls, I had obligations back on the farm, at the farm, but I never uh, skipped any uh, quarters, I stayed my full four years and then got my uh, coursework done for my master's degree that ended up on the farm. And, and I thought back years later that I should have acknowledged some of those people who are no longer with us, how much they helped me stay on that path. So Carl, one of the ways you cho you've chosen to give back is to sponsor this award. So tell us a little bit about that why. What what sparked you to, to partner with Bob Yagi and his family on that award? Well, I think we both felt that uh, when we were younger, we never uh, really thought how much good we got from the college, and, uh, and we've both been very successful, and I guess the majority of that uh, go <laughs> reason goes to the people that started down the right path. Carl, thanks for your sponsorship of that award and all your support of NDSU Agriculture Programs. Thank you. Filmed on location in Rugby, North Dakota. Now let's move on to the nominees for each award. As your name is called, please line up in front of the backdrop to my left. 
Nominator comments will play while each nominee is presented with a gift card. Once the recordings have concluded and the group photo is taken, nominees may take their seats. After all nominees in each category are recognized, we'll announce the award recipients. During this process, I ask that re the recipient remain in front for a photo as they receive their award. Kelly Anderson will be available after the ceremony for any additional photos that uh, departments or units would like. Now I invite Dr. Frank Casey, Associate Director of the North Dakota Agricultural Experiment Station to the podium to introduce the nominees for the research awards. Thank you, Greg. So the first reward award is the Larson Yegi Excellence in Research Award. It was established to recognize outstanding faculty and REC principal investigators with 10 or fewer years of service. The recipient must have made a significant research contribution that addresses an applied problem or increases the basic knowledge of the area investigated. Our thanks to the Larson and Yegi families for sponsoring the award. Now I will announce the nominees. Please come forward and line up in front of the backdrop as your name is read by Dr. Lardy over here. Barney Geddes, Assistant Professor, Department of Microbiological Sciences. Babina Matthews, Associate Professor, Department of Plant Pathology. Miranda Meehan, Associate Professor, Department of Animal Sciences. Sandro Steinbeck, Associate Professor, Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. And Rex Soon, Associate Professor, Department of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. Rex unfortunately cannot attend to, due to family commitments this evening. Let's give him a round of applause. Nominees, please remain up front while we hear from your nominators. A group photo will be taken after the audio is completed. Hi, I'm Glenn Dorsum, Associate Professor of Microbiological Sciences, and we have nominated Dr. Barney Geddes. Dr. Geddes is passionate about improving the lives of North Dakotans and beyond with his innovative research efforts, including those in nitrogen fixation technology for sustainable agriculture. I'm Gui Ping Yan, Associate Professor in Plant Pathology. Our department nominated Dr. Fabina Matthew. Dr. Matthew's research integrates pathogen biology, disease management, and precision agriculture, and has made significant strengths in developing practical solutions for crop disease challenges while advancing foundational knowledge in the field. I am Casey Carlin, Associate Professor in Animal Sciences, and we have nominated Dr. Miranda Meehan. Dr. Meehan's contributions to applied research, particularly in virtual fencing and environmental sustainability, have made a tangible difference to both producers and the scientific community. Hello, I'm Cheryl Walkenheim, Professor and Interim Chair in Agribusiness and Applied Economics. We've nominated Dr. Sandro Steinbaugh. Dr. Steinbaugh's research in international trade, agricultural policy, and agribusiness, combined with his interdisciplinary collaborations and his leadership and research, has advanced knowledge informed regional and global policymaker and strengthened the economic sustainability and competitiveness of North Dakota agriculture. I'm Xinhua Jia, Professor in Agriculture and Biosystem Engineering, and we nominated Dr. Rex Sun. Dr. Sun is a famous national researcher who effectively brings the newly formed NDSU Precision Agriculture Program to the broader community. So the second research award is the Eugene R. Dahl Excellence in Research Award. It was established to recognize outstanding faculty and re REC principal investigators in the 11th or more years of service. The recipient must have a distinguished research program in basic or applied sciences that has gained significant recognition in the state, region, or nation, and or internationally. Our thanks to the Eugene R. Dahl family for sponsoring this award. The following are the nominees. Igathi Kanayan, Associate Professor, Department of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. Carl Dahlen, Professor, Department of Animal Sciences. Brian Jenks, 
Agricultural Experiment Station Specialist, North Central Research Extension Center. Julie Pashi, Associate Professor, Department of Plant Pathology. Mukhlashar Raman, Associate Professor, Department of Plant Sciences. Bill Wilson, University Distinguished Professor, CHS Chair in Risk and Management and Trading, Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. And finally, Michael Wunsch, Assistant Professor, or excuse me, Assistant Research Extension Center Specialist at Carrington Research Extension Center. Now let's hear from your, your nominators. As a reminder, a group photo will be taken after the audio is completed. I am Julo Lin, Associate Professor in Agriculture and Biosystems Engineering. And our department nominated Dr. Igathi Kanayan. Dr. Kanayan is an innovative researcher who brings new technologies to solve problems faced by agricultural stakeholders. He is an avid publisher of research with an eye for detailed and high quality outputs. I'm Larry Reynolds, University Distinguished Professor of Animal Sciences. Our department nominated Dr. Carl Dahlen for the Dahl Research Award. He is highly deserving because of his extensive knowledge and positive attitude, his outstanding mentorship, and the applicability of his work to the livestock industry. I'm Shana Forster, Director of the North Central Research Extension Center, and our center nominated Dr. Brian Jenks. Dr. Jenks prioritizes the needs and wants of North Dakota farmers and ranchers, and he demonstrates a strong commitment to practical, real-world solutions in weed science. I'm Gui Ping Yan, Associate Professor in Plant Pathology. Our department nominated Dr. Julie Peche. Dr. Peche is a well-known and well-respected potato pathologist who has made significant contributions to diagnosis of potato disease problems, mechanism of fungicide resistance, and finding solutions for management of important diseases in potato. I am Gideon Mare, Professor in Plant Sciences, and we have nominated Dr. Mohamed Mukliser Rahman. Dr. Rahman is a plant breeder and geneticist with 31 years of experience in oil seed improvement and variety development, utilizing both traditional breeding methods and modern tools such as double diploids, molecular markers, genomic selection, I throughput uh, phenotyping with unmanned aerial vehicles and small plot based autonomous robots and nanotechnology. Hi, I'm Tom Beermacher, Professor of Practice and Extension Livestock Development Specialist in the Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. And we have nominated Dr. Bill Wilson for the Dahl Research Award. Dr. Wilson's research focuses on important issues facing agriculture in its domestic and international marketing system. A recent example includes providing guidance on a grain supply chain under the uncertainties of war. I'm Mike Osley, Director of the Carrington Research Extension Center. And on behalf of our center, we are pleased to nominate Dr. Michael Wunsch for the Eugene R. Dahl Excellence in Research Award. Dr. Wunsch is one of the hardest workers that I know and he directs this effort into serving the public with a true land-grant approach to his program. Let's congratulate our nominees. Now we will announce the award recipients. As I announce the research award recipients, Dr. Lardy will present them with a framed certificate. The first award, the Larson Yegi Excellence in Research Award, the recipient of the 2024 award is Dr. Rex Soon, Associate Professor in the Department of Agriculture and Biosystems Engineering. Unfortunately, Dr. Soon can't join us tonight. He's got some family obligations. Uh, Dr. Soon's research on precision agriculture is reshaping livestock, crop and food production in the region, and has elevated NDSU's precision agriculture pro program to national prominence. His work with multi functional robotic platform and beef cattle monitoring systems has been featured in Ag Week TV and Valley News Live. And he, and he received an invitation to present his work 
to the National Institute of Animal Agriculture webinar series. Congratulations, Dr. Soon. The next award, the Eugene R. Dahl Excellence in Research Award. The recipient of the 2024 award is Dr. Bill Wilson, University Distinguished Professor and CHS Chair in Risk Management and Trading in the Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. Congratulations, Dr. Bill, Bill Wilson. Again, Dr. Wilson cannot join us tonight. He's got commitments. Uh, his research has focused on five areas, risk and strategy, agriculture technology, logistics, international marketing and competition. His economic models evaluate strategies to mitigate risk in diverse economic activities, particularly in managing commodity price risk, which is important for growers, buyers, and traders. His expertise has earned him appointments to the board of directors of several regional and national companies, and he is a sought after advisor for railroads, commodity companies, the federal government, and companies engaged in international investments. Congratulations, Dr. Wilson. I now welcome Dr. Kerry Hammer, Associate Dean of the College of Agriculture, Food Systems and Natural Resources to introduce the nominees for the Teaching and Advising Awards. All right, thank you, Dr. Casey. I'm pleased to introduce the nominees for the two Teaching Awards and the one Advising Award. Starting with the Earl and Do Dorothy Foster Excellence in Teaching Award, this award recognizes outstanding facu teaching faculty with 10 or fewer years of service in the college. The award encourages and rewards excellence in teaching at all levels and among all disciplines. The recipient must hold a teaching appointment in the college and be in the 2000 job band. Our thanks to Earl and Dorothy Foster family for sponsoring this award. I will read the nominees. Please come forward as your name is read. Chris Bird, Assistant Professor, Department of Animal Sciences. Eric Hansen, Associate Professor, Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. Iwubua Monono, Assistant Professor, Department of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. And Jaja Rao, Associate Professor, Department of Plant Sciences. Nominees, please remain up front while we hear from your nominators, and then a group photo will be taken when the audio is complete. I'm Dr. Jennifer Young, the Swine Research Technician in the Department of Animal Sciences, and we have nominated Dr. Chris Bird. Dr. Bird is an outstanding educator whose dedication to his students is evident through his ability to keep students engaged while navigating and clarifying complex concepts. My name is Thomas Crummel, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. Our department has nominated Dr. Eric Hansen for the Earl and Dorothy Foster Excellence in Teaching Award. Dr. Hansen demonstrates student-centered instruction across various classroom settings and enthusiastically shares his experiences via mentorship and pedagogical research. This is Niloy Chandrasharkar. I am working as a research specialist and affiliated graduate faculty in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering Department at NDSU. Our department has nominated Dr. Eumbua Monono. Dr. Monono is an outstanding teacher who has made significant impacts in the department and with the students in the classroom. He is a great mentor to students especially undergrad students interested in bioprocess engineering. I am Anuradha Vegi, Associate Professor of Practice in Plant Sciences, and our department nominated Dr. Jaja Rao. Dr. Rao is an excellent teacher who brings her own research experiences into the classroom. Her passion for the subject matter is infectious, inspiring our students to think critically, making complex topics accessible and engaging. Let's give them a warm round of applause. All right, next is the H. Rold and Janet Lund Excellence in Teaching Award. It recognizes outstanding teaching faculty in their 11th or more years of service in the college. The award encourages and rewards excellence in teaching at all levels and among all disciplines. The recipient must hold a teaching appointment in the college and be in the 2000 job band. Our thanks to H. Rold and Janet Lund for sponsoring this award. I will announce the nominees. Dae Ying Lee, Professor, Department of Plant Sciences. 
Sue Lim, Professor, Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. Tara Swanson, Senior Lecturer, Department of Animal Sciences. Let's hear from your nominators. And again, a group photo will be taken after the audio is complete. This is Harlene Hatterman Valenti in Plant Sciences, and we nominated Daying Lee. Daying is deserving of this award because he loves teaching, which motivates him to prepare each course as if it's the first time it is being taught. Ding teaches a wide range of different courses from a general education course with a large number of students to practical courses and lastly, courses with sophisticated science components. I'm John Beermacher, Professor of Practice and Extension Livestock Development Specialist in the Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. And we have nominated Dr. Sue Lim for the Lund Teaching Award. Dr. Lim's support and belief in her students fosters a deep sense of trust and connection. Her students know that she believes in their abilities even when they might doubt themselves. I'm Erica Berg, Associate Professor in Animal Sciences, and our department has nominated Tara Swanson. Tara embodies what an instructor should be, someone who sets high expectations for each of her students while being their greatest advocate and the one who will go above and beyond without thinking twice. Let's give them a warm round of applause. Next is the William J. and Angeline A. Austin Excellence in Advising Award, which recognizes the contributions of faculty and staff who have demonstrated excellence in advising undergraduate and graduate students enrolled in the college and or its student organizations. Our thanks to William J. and Angeline A. Austin family for sponsoring this award. I'll introduce the nominees. Greta Gramming, Professor, Department of Plant Sciences. Lauren Hanna, Associate Professor, Department of Animal Sciences. Thomas Crummel, Assistant Professor, Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. Matthew Olhoff, Senior Lecturer, Department of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. Rachel Richmond, Senior Lecturer, Department of Microbiological Sciences. And next we'll hear from your nominators. I'm Bakas Sama, a PhD student in Plant Sciences, and our department nominated Dr. Greta Gramming for Excellence in Advising Award. Dr. Gramming is one of the best advisors and is dedicated to supporting her students in realizing their potential and achieving success in their academic and professional journey. I'm Casey Carlin, Associate Professor in the Department of Animal Sciences, and our department nominated Dr. Lauren Hanna. Dr. Hanna consistently checks in with her students, inspiring them to reach their greatest potential while remaining approachable and supportive. My name is Sandro Steinboff. I'm the Director of Agriculture Policy and Trade Studies at NDSU and an Associate Professor in the Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. Our department has proudly nominated Dr. Thomas Krimmel. His dedication to fostering meaningful connections and helping students reach their full potential while serving as a role model for all of us truly demonstrates the transformative power of mentorship in shaping the future of agribusiness and agricultural economics at NDSU. I'm Rob Pru, Extension Agriculture Technology Systems Specialist in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering, and our department nominated Matthew Oloft. Matt exemplifies care for his students and attentiveness to all aspects of their advising needs. I selected her for this nomination because of her enormous love and care for her students. Based on the institutional knowledge that comes with working for NDSU for some 20 plus years and her will and desire to learn something new, she addresses any one of the concerns her students may have whether that problem is academic or personal. Let's give them a warm round of applause. And now we'll announce the award recipients. I invite Dr. Lardy to present the teaching and award recipients with a frame certificate as they are announced. First, the Earl and Dorothy Foster Excellence in Teaching Award. The recipient of the 2024 award is Eric Hansen. Associate Professor, Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. 
Dr. Hansen's innovative teaching methods are exceptional. His development of online lab videos and case studies, along with his strong teaching performance, demonstrates excellence as reflected in his student evaluations. His commitment to scholarly activities and involvement with the North American Colleges and Teachers, Teachers of Agriculture Professional Society, or NACTA, is also impressive. Congratulations, Dr. Hansen. Next is the H. Rold and Janet Lund Teaching Award. The recipient of the 2024 award is Tara Swanson, Senior Lecturer in the Department of Animal Sciences. Tara goes above and beyond to enhance the student experience and employs innovative teaching methods. Her longstanding commitment to student growth and learning, as well as her support in helping students achieve their goals is truly impressive. Now for the William J. and Angela A. Austin Excellence in Advising Award. The recipient of the 2024 award is Matt Olhoft, Senior Lecturer in the Department of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. Matt's ability to form close relationships with his students and advisees allows him to discuss difficult questions and situations, ultimately helping them make important life decisions. He excels at stimulating both the intellectual and personal growth of his students through his willingness to advise multiple student clubs and organizations. Serving as a student club advisor further enables him to build close, trusting relationships and students. I know Matt's not with us here tonight, but let's please congratulate Matt Olhoft. And I now welcome Dr. Lynette Flage, Associate Director of NDSU Extension to introduce the nominees for the Extension Awards. Thank you, Dr. Hammer. I'm pleased to introduce the nominees for the two Extension Awards. The first award is the Excellence in Extension Early Career Award. It was established to encourage and reward significant accomplishments and excellence in extension educational outcomes. Individuals with 10 or, few years of, 10 or fewer years of cumulative service to NDSU Extension are eligible for nomination. The recipient must hold an extension appointment and be in the 2000 job band. So now I will announce the nominees. Please come forward as your name is read. Erin Bernston, Extension Agent, Family and Community Wellness in Botano County. Kelsey Deckert, Extension Agent, Agriculture and Natural Resources, Horticulture, Burley County. Gravis Hoffman, Associate Professor and Extension Sheep Specialist in the Department of Animal Sciences. Brian Parman, Associate Professor, Agricultural Finance Specialist in the Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. Jan Stankowitz, Community Health and Nutrition Specialist and NDSU Agriculture Tribal Liaison. And Lynette Vockel, Extension Agent, 4-H Youth Development for Montreal County. So as Lynette makes her way up here, we're gonna have all the nominees please remain up front while we hear from your nominators. I'm Shana Forster, District Director with NDSU Extension, and we have nominated Erin Berenson. Erin's commitment to connecting with people of all ages and her dedication to community engagement highlight her innovative approach to promoting health and wellness and are making a significant impact in Botno County. I'm Dina Kimmett, District Director with NDSU Extension, and I have nominated Kelsey Deckert. Kelsey is a highly respected horticulture expert in the Burley Morton County area. She is well known for her community outreach through personal consultation, newsletters, media appearances, and her popular TV program, Dakota Growing. I'm Miranda Meehan, Associate Professor and Extension Livestock Environmental Stewardship Specialist in Animal Sciences. And our department nominated Dr. Travis Hoffman. We will not find an individual who is more passionate about an industry than Dr. Hoffman and who has the ability to work with individuals of all ages and levels of experience. I'm John Biermager, Professor of Practice and Extension Livestock Development Specialist in Agribusiness and Applied Economics. And our department nominated Dr. Brian Parman for the Extension Early Career Award. Dr. Parman has a gift for explaining critical concepts in plain terms and has a depth of information that qualifies him to field almost any question in the area of agriculture finance. I'm Perry Johnson, Assistant Director for NDSU Extension Family and Community Wellness, and we have nominated Jan Stankowitz. 
Jan has exhibited exemplary leadership in engaging communities across the state to address pressing public health challenges. She supports others in extension and communities by always being ready to offer a helping hand, lending a listening ear, and providing thoughtful guidance to those around her. I'm Jim Gray, West District Director with NDSU Extension, and we've nominated Lynette Vockel for the Extension Early Career Award. Lynette is a 4-H youth development agent and is committed to making a positive impact on the people and the communities within Montreal County through hands-on experiential 4-H youth programming. She's an innovative educator who ensures the programs she offers are high quality and consistent with local needs. Let's give them all another warm round of applause. All right, and on to the next award, the AGSCO Excellence in Extension Award. This was established to encourage and reward significant accomplishments and excellence in extension educational outcomes. Individuals in their 11th or more years of cumulative service to NDSU Extension are eligible for nomination. The recipient must hold an extension appointment and be in the 2000 job band. Our thanks to AGSCO for sponsoring this award. And now I will announce the nominees. First of all, Rhonda Grippentrog, Extension Agent, Family and Community Wellness in Richland County. Ron Haugen, Farm Management Specialist in the Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. Sam Markell, Professor and Extension Plant Pathologist and Interim Chair in the Department of Plant Pathology. And Tom Peters, Associate Professor and Extension Sugar Beet Agronomist in the Department of Plant Sciences. We were unsure if Tom was able to attend. He was um, doing some field research work today. So congratulations to Tom. Now let's hear from the nominators. I'm Alicia Harstead, the Interim East District Director with NDSU Extension, and we have nominated Rhonda Gripentroff. Rhonda is a cheerleader, influencer, and innovator wrapped up in a relatable individual who is willing to share her talents to tackle community issues around mental resilience, wellness, and positive youth development. I'm Tom Biermacher, Professor of Practice and Extension Livestock Development Specialist in Agribusiness and Applied Economics. And our department nominated Ron Haugen for the AGSCO Extension Award. Over the past 35 years, Ron has worked arduously and effectively to help agriculture producers achieve their financial, production, and quality of life goals. Good afternoon, I'm Jack Rasmussen, professor in the Department of Plant Pathology. Our department nominated Dr. Sam Markell, Dr. Markell is visionary and tireless in his pursuit of excellence for NDSU agriculture and extension and the entire university. I'm Bing Ken Chen, Associate Professor in Plant Sciences. And our department nominated Dr. Tom Peters. Dr. Peters has been integral, timely, impressive in delivering supportive information and research in sugar beet production in the Southern Minnesota Beet Sugar Cooperative Growing District and other growing areas. All right, please join me in another warm round of applause for this group. Now it's with pleasure that I will announce the award recipients and I invite Dr. Lardy to present the recipients with a frame certificate as they are announced. I'm very excited that so many of our extension personnel were able to attend this awards ceremony today. It worked out so nicely in, in collaboration with our conference. So it's great to have you all here and see these award recipients and nominations. We'll start with the Excellence in Extension Early Career Award. And the recipient of the 2024 award is Travis Hoffman. Dr. Hoffman is the Associate Professor and Extension Sheep Specialist in the Department of Animal Sciences, and he's participated in over 400 outreach events and nearly 200 media interviews to support lamb and sheep producers and consumers across the state. He collaborates with 4-H to recruit and introduce youth to the livestock industry. Additionally, he's, at, he's led outreach efforts to promote the buying and selling of local meats and foods reaching beyond the traditional agriculture and natural resources audience. He hosts goat harvest workshops that teach the full process from live goat to carcass, as well as educational events covering start to finish wool production. Dr. Hoffman is highly regarded by those he serves and fosters a friendly, approachable demeanor with his peers and colleagues. Congratulations, Dr. Hoffman. 
And now the AGSCO Excellence in Extension Award. And the recipient of the 2024 award is Sam Markell. Sam, again, is Professor and Extension Plant Pathologist and Interim Chair of the Department of Plant Pathology. Dr. Markell has led the Soybean Cis Nematode Coalition, a nationwide initiative focused on researching and educating farmers about SCN. Soybeans are North Dakota's top crop by annual revenue, where SCN is the leading cause of yield loss. Through his efforts, producers have saved tens of millions of dollars, and he's raised significant awareness of this critical issue. Dr. Markell is highly respected by commodity groups, producers, and his peers. Congratulations, Dr. Markell. And I now invite um, Frank, Dr. Casey back to introduce the nominees for the three staff awards. I'm pleased to introduce the nominees for the three staff awards. The first award, the Charles and Linda Moses Staff Award, recognizes significant contributions to the mission of NDSU Agriculture. The purpose is to encourage and reward excellence in job performance by professional staff. The recipient must have at least three years of continuous service in a staff position. On and off campus staff members are eligible. Our thanks to Charles and Linda Moses family for sponsoring the award. Now I'll announce the nominees. Please come to the front as your name is read. Susan Finseth, Grants Coordinator in the College with responsibilities for the School of Natural Resource Sciences, Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering, and Microbiological Sciences. Yu King Yu Ong Lang, Research Specialist, Department of Plant Pathology. Yu King cannot attend today. Glenn Martin, Research Specialist, Dickinson Research Extension Center. Joseph Mettler, Research Specialist and Assistant Weed Scientist, Department of Plant Sciences. Didier Murillo Flores, Data Research Statistician, Developer, NDSU Agriculture Data Analytics Group. Megan Ramsett, Research Specialist, Department of Microbiological Sciences. Niloy Chandra Sarkar, Research Specialist in Bioprocessing, Department of Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering. Deb Tanner, Graphic Designer, Agricultural Communication. And Sarah Underdahl, Manager of Beef Cattle Research Complex, Department of Animal Sciences. Nominees, please remain up front while you hear from your nominators. I'm Jason Harmon, professor in the School of Natural Resource Sciences, and we have nominated Susan Finneseth. Susan is a true and remarkable partner in acquiring grants. She wants to help faculty and staff succeed, and she plays a pivotal role in making it happen. I'm Gui Ping Yan, Associate Professor in Plant Pathology. We nominate Dr. Xue Qiang Leng. Dr. Leng's innovative research on wheat and barley diseases, outstanding service to wheat breeding programs, commitment to mentoring students, and exceptional work on peer-reviewed publications have greatly benefited the agricultural communities. I'm Chris Augustine director of the Dickinson Research Extension Center, and we have nominated Glenn Martin. Glenn conducts field trial work scientifically, yet also thinks in practical terms so that everything is clear. He has an exceptional work ethic and dedication to the Dickinson Research Extension Center. My name is Kirk Howitt, weed scientist in the Department of Plant Sciences. I had the privilege of nominating Joseph Mettler from our department in light of his outstanding performance and service. Joseph's kind, open nature fosters an atmosphere of collaboration and optimism that enables those working with him to benefit from his organizational skills to increase productivity, accountability, and reliability. This is Ana Maria Heilman Morales, Director of the Agricultural Data Analytics Team. I am proud to nominate Didier Murillo for the Charles and Linda Moses Staff Award. Didier has consistently demonstrated exceptional expertise and effectiveness in supporting researchers through both ad hoc and automated statistical tools that significantly influence product development. I nominated this candidate because of all the people I met at NDSU over more than 20 years she is the one with the widest breadth of knowledge, 
when it comes to working with different research projects, all related to NDSU agriculture. She has an enormous will to get jobs done at many times of the week, and I truly believe that she is one of the major drivers behind the success of the research lab she is in. I am Eumba Monono, a faculty in Eben, nominated Niloy Sakra for the Charles and Linda Moses Award. Niloy is a research specialist in Eben, and he manages a pilot plant alone, as opposed to three research specialists in the past. Being alone with four PIs and over a dozen graduate students, he has done an outstanding job managing the pilot plant and ensuring that everyone work in a safe manner. His effort coordinating the move of the pilot plant to Piotia Complex was exceptional. I'm Elizabeth Cronin, Director of Agriculture Communication, and we have nominated Deb Tanner for the contributions she has made throughout her career with NDSU. Her dedication to excellent customer service and her ability to create impactful, visually appealing materials have significantly benefited both her colleagues and audiences across the state and beyond. I'm Kendall Swanson, Professor in Animal Sciences, and I'm happy to report that the department nominated Sarah Underdahl for the Charles and Linda Moses Award. Sarah not only assures that all activities at the research facility are accomplished at the highest level possible, she also consistently makes significant contributions to all aspects of NDSU's land grant mission. Let's congratulate our nominees once again. Our next award is the Donald and Joe Anderson Staff Award, which recognizes significant contributions to the mission of NDSU Agriculture. The purpose is to encourage and reward excellence in job performance by office support staff on and off campus, our county extension support staff, or our county extension support staff. The nominee must have at least three years of continuous service in a staff position. Our thanks to Donald and Joe Anderson for sponsoring this award. Now I will announce the nominees. Island Beringrud, Administrative Assistant, Department of Plant Sciences. Blaine Arovic, Distribution Coordinator, Agricultural Communications. Janice Hansen, Administrative Assistant, McLean County. Edie Nelson, Administrative Assistant, Department of Agribusiness and Applied Economics. Cindy Olson, Administrative Assistant, Ramsey County. Sarah Shukard McGregor, Administrative Assistant, Langdon Research Extension Center. And Linda Schuster, Administrative Assistant, Carrington Research Extension Center. Let's hear from our nominees, nominators. I'm Bing Ken Chen, Associate Professor in Plant Sciences. And our department nominated Eileen Buildinggrad. I mean, is very easy to work with and is knowledgeable, intelligent, helpful, and passionate about her work. She is the backbone of the department. I'm Elizabeth Cronin, Director of Agriculture Communication, and we have nominated Blaine Ervik. Blaine is dependable and efficient in managing the distribution and delivery services for NDSU Agriculture, consistently meeting deadlines and ensuring timely delivery of crucial materials. I'm Camille Moderegger, Family and Community Wellness Extension Agent in McLean County, and we nominated Jan Hansen. With humility and grace, Jan has gone above and beyond her written job description for NDSU Extension and the people of North Dakota for nearly two decades. We truly appreciate everything Jan has done and continues to do. I'm Ron Haugen, Extension Specialist in Agribusiness and Applied Economics, and our department has nominated Edie Nelson. Edie has consistently served students, faculty, staff, and numerous internal and external stakeholders by delivering innovative and efficient support and leadership. Her efforts have fostered an environment where everyone feels truly valued and appreciated. 
I'm Lindsay Overmeyer, an extension agent in Ramsey County, and our office nominated Cindy Olson. Cindy's over 30 years of dedicated service to NDSU Extension have fostered invaluable relationships and profoundly impacted the lives of countless individuals across the state. I'm Randy Melhoff, representing the employees at the Langdon REC that nominated Sarah McGregor for the Donald and Joe Anderson Staff Award. Sarah's special organizational talents, ability to problem solve IT issues, and her personal drive to assist anyone that needs it promotes a sense of camaraderie among employees in our unit, which in turn serves to support strong research and extension programs. I am Mike Osley, Director of the Carrington Research Extension Center. And as a center, we are thrilled to nominate Linda Schuster for the Donald and Joe Anderson Staff Award. Linda acts through compassion and commitment to service and agriculture to execute the mission of the center and NDSU for the betterment of all involved. Let's give them a warm round of applause. The next award is the Rick and Jody Burgum Staff Award, which recognizes significant contributions to the mission of NDSU agriculture. The purpose is to encourage and reward excellence in job performance, by support staff in technical and paraprofessional crafts and trades or services positions. The recipient must have at least three years of continuous service in a staff position. On and off campus staff members are eligible. Our thanks to Rick and Jody Burgum for sponsoring this award. Now I will announce the nominees. Chris Anderson, Production Manager, Print and Copy Services, Agriculture Communications. Ronald Johnson, Ag Research Technician, AES Main Station Farm Shop. I'm Kelly Anderson, Agriculture Communications Specialist in the Agriculture Communications Department, and we have nominated Chris Anderson for the Rick and Jody Burgum Staff Award. Chris ensures that all NDSU agriculture and extension materials are printed on time, on budget, and with the customer's satisfaction in mind. I'm Stacy Ostby, co-director of the Veterinary Technology Program, and we have nominated Ronald Johnson. Ron strives to uphold the motto of the North Dakota Agricultural Experiment Station, which is, for the land and its people, by valuing everyone he has interactions with at NDSU. Let's congratulate our nominees once again. Now I invite Dr. Lardy to present the award recipients with a frame certificate as they are announced. First, the Charles and Linda Moses Staff Award. The recipient of the 2024 award is Megan Ramset, Research Specialist in the Department of Microbiological Sciences. Congratulations, Megan. Megan shares her expertise with other research groups externally and at NDSU by assisting with experimental protocols and lab equipment usage. She is dedicated to field research and has played a vital role in, in Dr. Geddes's rapidly expanding research lab. Megan manages the lab's finances, in, uh, inventory, and onboarding of new lab members. She also ensures safety trainings are completed, organizes lab chores, and coordinates logistics for space, equipment, and supplies. She gains new expertise through training to support research focused on beneficial microbes and plant microbes. Megan is, a, is approachable and a champion of diversity and inclusivity. Congratulations, Megan. Now we have the Donald and Joe Anderson Staff Award. The recipient of the 2024 award is Sarah Shukard McGregor, Administrative Assistant at Langdon Research Extension Center. Sarah is dedicated to her work and her colleagues striving to maintain operational efficiencies through a diverse range of responsibilities. She takes the initiative to develop the training manuals when new, new processes are created and shares them with her REC staff. Additionally, Sarah has established a social media presence to pr promote their programs, events, and research for the extension efforts. One notable example uh, is her extra effort in chairing an NDSU support staff conference. Congratulations, Sarah. Now, the Rick and Jody Burgum Staff Award. The recipient of the 2024 award is Ronald Johnson, Ag Research Technician at the AES Main Experiment Station Farm Shop. Congratulations, 
Ron values the relationship he builds and enjoys training new students' employees on how to operate the farm equipment. He stepped into the chaperone, the dairy judging team during the competition in Louisville and Fort, and Fort Worth when their coach was unavailable. Ron also assisted with the tasks outside working hours, helping at the dairy and beef barns during holidays. When, when it snows, he arrives early, sometimes as early as 3.30 a.m., to ensure that the snow is cleared for his co-workers. He's often the first to arrive and the last to leave, going above and beyond his job duties. Congratulations, Ron. I now invite Dr. Flage to come back and introduce the nominees for the final award of this afternoon, the Diversity Award. Great, thank you, Dr. Casey. And I am pleased to introduce the nominees for the Celebrate, Integrate, and Embrace the Power of Diversity Award. This is the second year we've had this award, and it recognizes an individual or a group who's achieved significant impact for work related to the NDSU Agriculture st Strategic Goal of celebrating, integrating, and embracing the power of diversity. So now I'll announce the nominees, and please come forward as your name is read and remain up front while we hear from your nominators. So first of all, Erica Berg, Associate Professor, Department of Animal Sciences, and Shannon Eaker, Administrative Assistant in the Department of Plant Sciences. And now we'll hear from your nominators. I'm Tara Swanson, Senior Lecturer in the Department of Animal Sciences, and our department has nominated Dr. Erica Berg. Dr. Berg has been a leader in creating positive environments for diversity, equity, and inclusion. Her passion, drive, and creativity are inspiring and provide an excellent example for others to follow. This is Harleen Hatterman Valenti in Plant Sciences, and we nominated Shannon Euchre for the Celebrate, Integrate, and Embrace the Power of Diversity Award. Shannon is deserving of this award because she does an amazing job to make students feel welcome, safe, and heard in plant sciences. With almost 62% of the plant sciences graduate students, that is 80 of 130 as international students, Shannon often is the first person in the department that they meet and more often meets with each of them more than their major advisor. Please join me with one more round of applause. All right, for the final award. Now, Dr. Lardy will present the frame certificate while I announce the recipient of the diversity award. And the 2024 Celebrate, Integrate, and Embrace the Power of Diversity Award goes to Erica Burr, Associate Professor in the Department of Animal Sciences. Dr. Berg's Bison Strides program creates and implements horse-based activities for individuals with a variety of disabilities. Her undergraduate minor program is in equine assisted services provides students with hands-on experiences that engage diverse audiences while fostering an understanding of their unique strengths and abilities. Bison Strides promotes partnerships that enhance awareness of disability, ableism, and advocacy among students, staff, and faculty. Since its inception in 2017, the program has served diverse audiences and impacted over 160 individuals in 2024 alone. This has included program participants, school children, NDSU, and community volunteers, students, and military families. Dr. Berg is committed to growing and improving the program through new partnerships, and her fundraising efforts have shown impressive growth. She's established numerous collaborations with organizations such as the NDSU Counseling Program, Beyond Boundaries Therapy Services, Explorer Academy, West Fargo Transitions Academy, and others. Congratulations, Dr. Berg. And now I invite Dr. Lardy back for some closing comments. Thank you, Dr. Flage. As we conclude our awards program, I wanna thank each of you for attending both in person and online. A special thanks to the nominee, nominators for all the effort you made to put into the nominations. And congratulations to all our nominees for your dedication and hard work that contribute to the success of our mission. I extend a special thank you to the team that organized this event, including the All Ag Conference Committee, staff and Ag Administration, and Ag Communications for all the work that went into putting this together. 
To our donors, thank you for supporting our awards program. It's truly appreciated. To our awards recipients, congratulations. We're incredibly proud of the contributions you make to support the mission of NDSU Agriculture and the state of North Dakota. Our next year's awards program will be held on its own on December 3rd, 2025 at 3 p.m. in the NDSU Memorial Union Ballroom. Awards recipients, please come forward for a group photo. Thanks again for attending and please stay and enjoy conversation refreshments as we celebrate this evening. That concludes our program.